Okay, so Mini Red Riding Hood wasn't necessarily what I expected from this episode of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, but it was still really good. This was episode 19, released in 2006, directed by Rob LaDuca. And in this episode, there are a lot of opportunities for learning, and this is something that I love. I have mentioned this before, I'm not necessarily the target audience for Clubhouse. I'm 30 years old. I watch them because I'm a big child, really. I can't resist Donald Duck. I love Disney. I'm a big Disney fan. I like to keep up with all branches of Disney and what they are currently doing. But I also enjoy analysing these episodes from an educational perspective to see how beneficial they are to a younger audience. And as is always the case, and what I concluded with the first episode, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is exceptionally educational. And this is definitely true with this episode, more so than a lot. There are episodes, there are opportunities for learning to count, for looking at shapes and colours, learning about cookery, learning about how to care for somebody who is feeling unwell. There are a lot of opportunities for a young child or a younger viewer to learn all kinds of things. Direct learning, such as numbers, indirect learning, such as learning to care for somebody who is suffering from a cold. That aspect of it is all fantastic. The narrative itself is very sweet, but not what I was expecting. The fact that it's called Mini Red Riding Hood isn't really prevalent. Um, the aspect of Red Riding Hood isn't prevalent for the majority of this, other than Minnie wearing a red cape. And I have to say, I love it when they have a costume change or there's a slight tweak to their ordinary outfit. Minnie looks great in the red cape. I don't know how she got her ears through. I assume there are ear holes. But she does look, look really good. She turns up at Mickey's door with a basket full of vegetables because she's going to make her famous, and I quote, mini strony soup for Goofy because Goofy is sneezing, he's under the weather. Minnie and Mickey take us through the recipe of how to create this. I think she put in six potatoes, which even for me as a potato fiend seems a little excessive. I don't even know if there is potato in minestrone soup. I thought it was just pasta. I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe mini strony soup is slightly different. But anyway, they make this soup. They go off to deliver it to Goofy. But of course, on the journey, they encounter all kinds of obstacles. Initially, Pete wants some of the soup, but he's not unwell and the soup is for Goofy. They encounter Donald and various other characters who all help take this soup to Goofy. And along the way, there are various opportunities for learning. The Red Riding Hood aspect does come back into it again via the character of Pete, but again, only slightly. We do have a lot of interaction with the audience, Mickey asking who this character is or um, inviting the audience to take part in things. It's very interactive, great opportunities for learning. I wouldn't say it, was, it would introduce a young person to Little Red Riding Hood. For example, there's the episode Donald and the Beanstalk, which I think is a really great way of introducing a young child to the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. Whereas Mini Red Riding Hood doesn't have enough of Little Red Riding Hood in there to kind of allow a young child to become familiar with the story. However, it may encourage children to look at a book about Little Red Riding Hood because of the association. Anything to encourage reading. So great narrative, very educational, obviously brilliant animation. Um, I've said it before, I much prefer the classic hand-drawn-esque style of Mickey Mouse, but I do think if they're going to bring it into the 21st century and use this more CGI approach, this is how to do it. They've done it beautifully. Brilliant cast as always with Wayne Alwyn as the voice of Mickey Mouse, Tony Anselmo as my beloved favourite Donald Duck, Jim Cummings as Pete, Bill Farmer as Goofy and Tress McNeely and Rossi Taylor as Daisy Duck and Minnie Mouse. I can't fault this episode. Sure, I would have liked a little bit more um, of, of the little red riding aspect in there, though I'm not sure what that would have entailed because it's quite a dark narrative when you think about it. So maybe they put enough in there without making it all scarred and, and blemished. Mini Red Riding Hood, for the most part, is a pretty fantastic episode.